Hi Taurus and welcome to your general love reading for mid-June 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Taurus and it is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation but if you would like a personal reading you can find all the information about those in the description box. Also the roles in this particular reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Taurus, let's see what is going on with you and another person. Second half of June 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Queen of Swords. I feel like this Queen of Swords just keeps showing up in, in the readings this time around. Um, all right. Somebody is feeling a sense of loss here. Um, it could be you feeling like something is just missing from your life or just feeling a sense of loss. But I'm not sure how much you or the other, maybe it's the other person, um, how much you are acknowledging that. Or it could even be an issue of standing up for yourself um, and just allowing the situation to be what it is and leaving you feeling this, this loss. Again, could be the other person. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I feel like at the moment, your stance towards this person is just not really doing anything. I feel like you're either trying to heal or there's something that you are healing or recovering from. Um, there is here something though that you want. I feel like, you know, you, you're you hoping for something, you're hoping for some kind of an outcome. And you might even kind of be planning for it. Even though you're not doing much, I feel like maybe in your mind, you might be, you might kind of be planning something for this. Um, but it's interesting because then we have the Seven of Swords, so I feel like, you know, you kind of like you dismiss that that thought of doing something let's see for the other person here we have the temperance card all right sagittarius the two of swords and the hermit virgo hmm. so i feel like that you're it's like you're both kind of just trying to accept the situation for what it is even if there is a sense of loss here. Um, it's interesting because it's kind of like not really acknowledging the loss, but then just accepting it. I feel like this other person is trying to find some inner peace, find some kind of balance um, with the situation, whatever it is that's happening here. Um, there's, there's, a lot of inactivity, a lot of inactivity actually from both both sides. Um, I don't see them doing much either. I feel like you know they don't really know possibly what's going on with you, or possibly they're feeling like you know this is just not going to work out. But I don't necessarily see them um, feeling like that's only from their end. I feel like they might feel like it's also from your end. And so, yeah, they're, I, I don't see them at the moment really coming out of this hermit mode, okay? Um, I do see them though finding some inner balance. I feel like they are healing as well, just like you are healing. Let's see, potential outcome, we have the Empress. Okay, well that's good. That's good because this talks about, um, for me, this is also about new potentials. It's like fertility, something that can be created here. And also, um, each of you coming to this place where you're feeling like the best version of yourself. And I feel like that's really needed. That's really needed here for the both of you. So that could then open up, you know, whole, a whole new world, basically. Let's see. There's definitely a lot of deep thinking um, that's happening for the other person.
sometimes possibly even overthinking. I feel like that's why they're trying to find this balance. But let's clarify that Five of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. And we have Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. There's definitely a lot of love here. That's the thing. There, There is love here between you and the other person. And so if you're not together, then I can see why this is feeling like there's a sense of loss. Um, big time, but then at the same time, not really having clarity over this in some way. So it does feel like, you know, there's um, an emotional distancing between the two of you or, you know, somebody's walking away or somebody has walked away. But that has not led to peace. I don't, I don't see peace here. I do see the other person looking for peace, trying to find some balance. Um, but they don't, they don't have it, right? And then here we have the Eight of Swords. There's a lot of thinking, a lot of, you know, feeling stuck in this situation in the way that it is, even though still trying to move away from it. And maybe, maybe that's you. Because um, I see you kind of aborting a plan here as well. Kind of. Maybe. It's, it's more of like, should I, shouldn't I? That's how I'm getting that Seven of Swords. Let's see. Let's see, Taurus, what's happening here? Let's see that Four of Swords, which is in your energy. And we have the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles. Having a whole bunch of <laughs> different things coming to me at the moment. Um, I feel like some of you might even be recovering from, from a connection. This isn't going to be for all of you, okay? First, and it might not even be this person here. But for some of you, I feel like you're overcoming or trying to heal from a connection where, you know, the other person may have been a little bit controlling or just, you know, very, very, like, um, very, like, too much breathing down your neck kind of a feel. Okay, so I don't know what that's about. That's that's for some of you. Um, overall, though, I feel like what you're doing is you're regaining your, your own sense of power, regardless of the first message that I got, okay? It could be in combination with that, or that might not apply to you at all. Um, in either case, though, you are refinding your own power. And I feel like, you know, by taking a break here, um, from this connection or from whatever you're taking a break from you're really putting effort into that finding your own sense of power your own sense of control let's see the seven of pentacles chariot okay so cancer and the magician all right some of you might also be dealing with an aries or you might have aries in your chart um I don't know if you guys can hear that music. <laughs> it's a little bit distracting me. Somebody's having a party in the neighborhood and it's like, it's pretty loud. Um, so I do apologize for that if you can hear it. Not sure if my camera's picking up on it. Okay, so for the Seven of Pentacles, Chariot and the Magician, you, I feel like, you know, there's this big part of you wanting to manifest this plan. Like there's something that you're thinking here. There's something that you're wanting and it is in your control this is something that you actually do have power over i don't know what it is but it's taking some kind of control here and i feel like you know there's there's planning there's planting the seeds for that you're thinking about it you're organizing something and you actually can do it you want things to move forward in this particular direction. So why are you going back? Let's see. Seven of Swords. The Fool and Justice. Okay, so Libra also showing up. Also getting strong Aries again. Um, I actually feel like we have very strong Aries 
up in your energy, which is also telling me that, you know, you do have what it takes to take some kind of initiative. You do have this willpower. You do have control. It, it almost feels like you're holding back from that. And I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is in terms of um, moving away from this person. It's not clear. Moving towards this person. Um, maybe something else concerning this connection. There's a decision here and it feels risky to you. And I feel like that's why you then have second thoughts about it and you're just kind of like, no, no. I don't know. I don't know. You know, if you, if your intuition is telling you to take that leap, your intuition is most likely going to be correct. Let's see for the other person. So for temperance, the four of wands and the six of pentacles. It's like this person is being, um, I feel like it, either they're waiting. I feel like they're waiting to feel like Either like they are ready to give to you what you could give to them or the other way around, vice versa. But this person is definitely, you know, feeling this connection with you. I'm even getting for some of them that there's patience on their end or that they have been learning patience about something. Um, but for the most part, I feel like, you know, they're trying to find some kind of balance, some kind of peace within themselves. But like I said, I feel like I, I don't really see peace just yet anywhere. Um, let's see this Two of Swords. The Hermit again. And the World. Yeah, a lot of deep thinking. And a lot of times this deep thinking can... Um, cause them to feel like there is no resolution here. I feel like this person is feeling like they don't have much control for some reason, whereas you are also needing to refine control. So I don't know how that actually like works here, but that's, that's what I'm seeing. Um, This person might even feel like, you know, this, this connection is done. They don't want it to be done, but they feel like it might be, but they're not sure. And so that's why I'm getting that. I, I feel like it's mostly on you. And there's a lot that they're learning from this. Um, but again, there's a lot of overthinking. There's... They're learning through it, like there is um, a lot of knowledge that they are gaining and insights that they're gaining, um, especially about themselves. But then oftentimes there, there's also that overthinking that can get in the way um, of their learning, but they're still learning though. Those are just, you know, they're inevitable little um, obstacles, I guess. Let's see the Hermit. Temperance, we just keep getting the same cards. We have Temperance twice for them, and we also have um, the Hermit twice for them. So yes, there is a lot of healing, there is a lot of learning, a lot of insight. Um, they do want this connection with you, but they're also not sure as to what exactly is going on. Like I said, I feel like they feel like they don't have much control. They feel like this might be, this might be done. And it for some of them, I mean, it could even be because of their own doing, but they're still feeling like, like this might be done. Okay, never got the second card, which is the Four of Cups. Yeah, and so they're feeling disappointed, and I feel like they're just really coming, trying to come to terms with that disappointment. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't see them actually doing something or taking action towards you. I really feel like it's in your hands, whether you know you want to or not. A 
let's see the Empress for the potential outcome here. Seven of Cups, Judgment, and the Nine of Wands. And I feel like this is mostly your energy here. I feel like, again, this is you actually, you know, finding that finding that sense of control, right, with the Emperor, and then finding that balance between your masculine and a feminine energy. Um, I get that you might even be fluctuating between the two, but like at extremes. Um, and that could be why, you know, maybe one minute you're thinking of doing something, you're wanting to do something, like you, you, you feel this urge to take some action or to, you know, manifest and create. And then, you know, you end up going back on it. It's because there's this, um, it's like functioning at extremes. And it's like there needs to be a balance of both energies. Um, granted, you know, taking initiative that is more of a masculine energy, but... It's like when you're functioning at the extreme of the masculine energy, it can feel overwhelming because it's too strong. And so it feels risky. And so then you go back. You know what I mean? Or having being too much in the feminine energy where it's more passive. So I feel like you're really finding that balance. And that's what I mean by rediscovering your sense of control. So I feel like that is what is happening here. It's not an easy, um, it's not an easy challenge. It's not an easy challenge, but I feel like you're pushing through and you're reaching this Empress where that opens up the doors to create and to manifest what it is that you want rather than allowing either illusions or, you know, um, yeah, just beliefs or thoughts to make you turn your back on what it is that you want. All right, Taurus, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have the blue moon, believe in the impossible. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, this is really all about believing in yourself. Believe in yourself. Something that you deem to be impossible of achieving in your own self. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.